Hello, my name is Razan. Welcome back to our channel where we discuss everything that is Canada related and much more. Hi, my name is Basim and this is the last stop. In today's video, we're going to discuss the top three things that you should do when you arrive in Canada. Yeah. So today in this video, uh, we will be talking about three things. Applying for uh, SIN number, applying for OHIP card, and applying for uh, or opening a new account, a bank account. So first of all, uh, applying for a social insurance number, short for SIN number. Now you can go either to Service Canada to do that or you can do it uh, online. Uh, there are so many documents, requirements uh, for you to get the SIN number, but SIN number is super important in Canada when you get uh, to get paid and also for any tax filing, any government uh, related documents, it is important for you to have the SIN number, which is nine digit number. We also recommend that you never share your SIN number with anyone ever, Absolutely especially not. over the phone. Um, mm -hmm. It's very rare that anybody is going to call you and ask you for your social insurance number. Um, we also recommend that you don't keep it on you either. Just leave it at home where it's safe and sound. Um, we also um, would definitely, definitely encourage you not to take any pictures of it either mm -hmm. um, because we have heard of a lot of stories from friends and family that have gotten their phone phones hacked and their social insurance number stolen. Um, so for more information on how you can apply for your SIN, we will put it, we will put a link in the description below where you can access all that information. And like my husband said um, already, you can apply to, for it online. Yeah. Second, uh, I'll be talking about applying for a health card. Um, usually it's not easy to get one especially in Ontario, and it takes you between three to six months. Now, if you come to Canada as a refugee, as an immigrant student, it's, it depends on each program. And um, you, you, you can just go to Service Ontario, uh, apply in person, or you can do it online. We're going to talk more in details about OHIP card application uh, further in, at the end of this video. This brings us to the next most important thing that you should do when you arrive in Canada, which is to open a bank account. Um, now, there are many banks um, across Canada that you could choose from. Such examples are like Scotiabank, TD Bank, CIBC. Um, there are a lot of options. A lot of them will have like different offers that you can look at. We definitely recommend that you go in person to the banks instead of uh, talking to them over the phone because tellers um, would definitely have more information and they will give you better deals when you go in person. Sometimes though, they do ask you to come back so you can book. You have to book an appointment in order to talk to someone. Mm -hmm. um, but usually they just really want your business and they'll just, you know, talk to you right then and there. At the same time, we recommend that you get a Visa card or a MasterCard um, after, of course, you, uh, you open a new bank account. And it's super important, especially with CIBC Master MasterCard. So if you go to Costco, you can get some cash back and uh, some benefits. Just to add to that, always make sure that you pay off your visa and your MasterCard. Now, I know sometimes uh, we could forget and, you know, life is busy. Um, but if you don't pay them back, that does affect your credit score, which can uh, possibly negatively impact you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A uh, good credit score is super important in Canada because if you want to go and buy a car or buy um, a house, the first th the first thing they're gonna ask you about is your credit score so you have to pay back your your visa or your mastercard to get um, a good score number two on our list uh, today is uh, you get a phone plan uh, we talk about it um, in a separate video you can see the link here or here or in the description <laughs> below uh, we we made a very good video about it and it's so much details in it Number three on our list is furnishing your house. Now, of course, um, after you get a place, you're going to look to buy some stuff to furnish it. Um, now, we would recommend that you go to Ikea. Um, Ikea is incredible because it has a huge selection of stuff mm -hmm. like 
thousands of them and usually the prices are quite low we also recommend that you try out walmart um well, the quality of the product is probably not as good as you would want it to be but it is usually cheaper than other places yeah. we would also recommend that if you're looking to buy appliances that you should check out the brick and mm -hmm. the home depot um usually they're they have good prices and they have really good um financial plans for you um now if you're looking to buy um things like uh, sofas and couches we definitely recommend leon's they are known to have the best quality of of couches and um and cushions etc um now if you're looking to buy things like a coffee table or a dining table or a bed frame we definitely recommend that you check out ashley's yeah if you are on budget you can check always kijiji or marketplace it's second hand uh, items and it's really good yep and what's really great about marketplace and kijiji is that a lot of times um people are trying to get rid of their stuff like you know they're moving out of the country yeah. and they're just like come pick it up please and almost mm -hmm. always we've noticed that they're in really good condition and um you can also in a way negotiate the price with them if it's uh, if you again are on a budget yeah now back to the health card application to qualify for our hip card you need to meet all the minimum requirements uh, which is one be physically in ontario for 153 uh, days in any 12 month period second be physically in, in ontario for at least 153 days of the first 180 183 days immediately after you began living in the province and last make Ontario your primary residence. So once you have met all of those three minimum requirements, you must meet at least one of these additional requirements. And they are, you are a Canadian citizen, you are an indigenous person, are a permanent resident, are applying for permanent residence in Canada, or you are in Ontario and are working full time with a valid work permit, or you are um, a protected person or a refugee. We hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our video today. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when we post a new video. Thank, Thank you, you and, and see you, you next time. time.